Welcome to Vegas Live, I'm Nina and of course we're down here at the Pepper Mill having a fabulous time. So many fabulous guests and they all have different stories though they're all in the entertainment business. Now I have the novelist with me. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going great. Now I interviewed you the other day. We were doing The Voice or something, weren't we? Yeah, I think so. It was about maybe two weeks ago. Yeah, about a couple of weeks ago yes. we were doing The Voice where I got an award for, you know, for yeah, what we do. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. So how's it going with you now? What's, going, what's, what's going on? Well, I just recently dropped uh, my newest video titled Codes in the Streets. It dropped and today. I think, is this it? No, that's actually one of my albums titled Birds That's one of the Pains. albums? Okay. Yeah. And uh, my newest video titled Codes in the Streets. Codes in the Streets? Codes in the Streets, yes. Codes as a code? Uh, codes as in ethical things that you must abide by to survive even if you're having a nine to five job there's codes to keep your job to keep your job yes exactly. there's certain codes to keep everything yes yeah, codes for everything yes yeah. so you actually sing about that i actually sing about you will sing i think you do more rapping than uh, rap singing. i'm more like a melodic rapper so my music comes with a melody with a melody there it is so you always have to have a melody though you could sing it without one uh, not always i can i'm very versatile but music nowadays is more melodic and if you don't know how to go with the flow then that's on you. Now has there been a big difference a big change in the last couple of years as of rapping and presenting and R&B and all these different I think what, genders? I, I think what's become different with music is how people deliver um, versus at one point in time it was all about the, the, the rhyme scheme pattern when yeah. you're constantly rhyming but now it's more with a melody you know so people it's a melody but a story as but well but a story yes yes yeah. yes and that's why they call me the novelist because I'm packed with a story you're packed with a story so everything you write or whatever you sing or whatever you or however you do it yes. has a meaning and a story behind it yes. is this what the younger generation are looking for it's what they're looking for and this is what they need whether they're not looking for it or not sometimes you have to know you have to know how to be a trendsetter and set that trend and make an example and make that story it's, sometimes you, you just got to go against it's the not brain. what they want it's what you're presenting to them that they will like and they like it and exactly. they like it they love it and they have to like it it's not that they have to like no, it they but, just but, like it no, but if they don't like it then it's not going to help you exactly yeah. but the, the the fact that i speak from an era of grittiness because i'm a gritty guy i've okay. been gritty but I'm, I'm a calm, now, smooth operator. Now, what do you operator. mean? You know, I'm going to be ignorant for a okay, couple of minutes. What, what is gritty? Gritty means you don't mind getting your hand dirty from time to time. Oh, it doesn't okay. necessarily mean you're committing crimes. No. It just means you don't mind getting your hands dirty if no. you got to. So I come from speaking from a hand that's not completely clean. And there's a lot of us. It's just I choose to speak about it and let other people feel it too because they're doing the same thing. Okay, when you say your hands are not clean, what have you done? Well, I haven't done, well, it's not that I've done it either. Everybody no. commits sins. Everybody commits yeah, sins. So, yes, so, exactly. But sometimes we have people in the world that feel like they're so polished that their hands has never been dirty. They've never been dirty in there. Exactly. Every one of us. You know, it's Every funny you should say us. that because if I pray to God, which I do quite yes. often, I, I ask him to forgive me for all, all the sins I yes. know. And I, I say also, forgive me the sins I don't know I've done. Exactly. Because I'm sure there's things I do that exactly. I don't no, it's a sin. I really don't know it's a sin. So, yes. you know, sometimes we don't know. And that. you know what music doing music for me is more of a way of me being able to express and release my inner being and still be perfect. So what's your goal? My goal is in the music business. In the music. My goal is to saturate this business with my sound and have just have just doors keep knocking down. And are you getting there doing that? Oh, that's exactly what I'm doing. So do you travel a lot? I go wherever I need to go to get where I need to get to make my noise. To make your noise. That's right. Are you more interested in making your noise and presenting yourself as to who you are than the money side? You know what? I want to. Money is very important. Money is very important, but truthfully, I'm at the point where until the money comes, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm a grinder. And this is my way of releasing what's inside of me. It ain't even about money right now. No. You know, it's more of being able to. To get out there, let go of what your feelings were, exactly. then you're letting and, them out. And what's great, and the thing about it is, I'm not making music for myself. The world is feeling what no, I'm saying. No, no, no. You've been given a gift. And yeah. what you're doing, you're now presenting your gifts to the outside yes. world. And you're, you're trying to get into a niche or into a place where people like what you do. Yes, there it is. And, and they love it. Like yes, McDonald's. They, they start, yes, like yeah. McDonald's. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a lot of people like what they do. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. 
So what has been sort of your greatest moment or, or your story is your greatest moment you've come to right now that can actually change your life and take you to the next level? My greatest moment is meeting people such as yourself, meeting people such as Eddie Fuse, meeting people such as Mr. Crimson, meeting people that I've met that has these doors. And if I didn't mention open. your name, yeah, and if I didn't mention your name, I apologize. But I deal with Oh, you people. can mention everybody. So you can yes. shout out whoever you want to shout out, a, you go right ahead. Shout out to God for keeping me alive. Even though I've been shot five times, I'm still here. Shout out to you for allowing me to take care of my five-year-old son, too. And shout out to all you viewers that continue to accept me in your eardrum, and I'm going to keep dropping Keep dropping He's going to keep dropping the, the novelist and the music into your ears that's because right. that's what he does. That's what I does. Now, do you write your music? Your I write music? my own music since 2012 and right now I've created and wrote 99 songs. I've wrote it, I've recorded it, I have over six albums on iTunes. You look me up, T-H-A-N-O-V-E-L-I-S-T, -E just like the shoot. So it's no longer. So now. It's, it's, to me, it's really. I want the money, but Wait a right second, now. Gonna, put, put that shoe back up there again. <laughs> look at this shoe, the novelist. Look that's at right. that. And then you've got it on the other side as well. He's got it everywhere. So look you at don't this. forget it. I'm patent. I'm branded. So that's how I get down. But um. So you're selling shoes as well? No, I got my name on my shoes. You just got your name on your yeah. shoes. Now if somebody, that's it. There it is. Now if somebody else want a pair of my name on their shoes, that's fine. But you're gonna have to pay for that high dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and why not? You're well, well Exactly. Now, yes. what I want to ask you is, where do you get and how do you get the inspirations for your for your lyrics? The inspiration came from growing up inside of treatment facilities. The inspiration came from having a crackhead mother, never having a father, and not giving up about life. Oh, no, That's where it came from. This is real life. This is so real life. Where, are you from Chicago? No, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm. So uh, this upbringing um, seems to be all over. I think it's all over the world. I mean, we keep saying, yes, it's America, and it's in Chicago, it's in Los Angeles, it's in New York, it's everywhere. But uh, I think it's all over the world. I think there's a there's certain communities that have this, the, the, and, and the, the people that suffer are the children. Yes. And you because you can't, when you're a child, you can't do anything about what you're doing. You, you have to go along with it. You have to go with the flow. So if you get, Tossed inside a facility, locked doors, locked windows, you gotta deal with it. So parents, before you give your kid away, put them in facility because you feel like you can't deal with their behavior, take time to sit back and think and realize 20 years happen? from now, I'm gonna want this kid back in my life. So it's your boy the novelist, you know, I'm just trying to drop jewels on you. Well, drop a few more jewels on them, <laughs> believe me. Drop some, get that message. Um, well, here's the thing. I got a five-year-old. And fathers, I do want to say this. I, I encourage you guys. I got joint custody. I went through an organization called Father's Rights. I get so tired of hearing fathers say, hey, the woman won't let me see my child. No, you won't take the time to investigate and realize that there's organization. Shout out to the Father's Rights in Las Vegas for helping me get joint custody like three years ago. No child support, and I have my son for Woo. man. Shout do out you to have your, Do you have your son full time or, or four joint? days a week? Joint four custody. Yeah, week. I'm going to pick him up from school at three thirty. I feel good. So you're picking up on a Friday. Oh, yeah. no, well, actually, it's Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, now, to Tuesday to Friday. Tuesday to Friday. Friday. She have Friday to two. So in other words, she takes him to school in the morning, like the, like Monday well, morning. Well, only one day. I'm yeah, I'm, one, I'm in majority then, of the school. And then there's a Tuesday, majority, Wednesday, sure, Thursday, Friday. So you make sure your kid is even make right. sure his kid is getting an education. I make sure because that's important. That's one important. of the most important things, especially it's, how old is the kid? Five years old? Five years old. And you know why it's the most important? Because education is one thing they can't take from you. They can lock you up. They can throw you away. You know what? You can even be uh, uh, stuck to a hospital bed. But if you got them brain stems and you got that degree and you're going through the proper strategies of school and life, shout out to you because that's the way to go. Well, I'm going to just give a shout out to Novelty. He's absolutely amazing, um, taking care of the fathers, taking care of the children, and also taking care of his own life. He had a, a, a rough upbringing, like a lot of us did, and you've actually got through it all. Yeah. You've escaped it all. It's all behind you. It's, all behind it's back there. Yeah, it's it's all gone. Behind, the memories don't ever lose, but I think when you remember what they were, yeah. that gives you the tenacity to keep moving forward. It sure does. Because yeah. you, you don't want to be back there. No, you don't want to be back there. No, and you don't want your kid there. No, no. No, he's not going there. No. no. And you're going to make sure of that. I'm going to make sure. Don't forget the novelist. Absolutely novelist, amazing. Novelist, that's right. There you are, the novelist. He's amazing. Thank you very much. Yeah, and how can you. they reach you? They reach Facebook? You could, yes, my Facebook is novelist. Put a space in show booking. Uh, my like page, the novelist. T-H-A-N-O-V-E-L-I-S-T. Everything else is the novelist. T-H-A-N-O-V-E-L-I-S-T. Look. 
you want to go to YouTube. I've been grinding for years, so there's 80 videos there for you guys to peep out. If you want to go check out some of my music on iTunes, like six different albums for you to check out. I'm going to keep driving. He's got it. He's got it. Believe me, he's got it. It's wonderful. So don't forget to share it. If you share it, the, yes, more, you yes, the more you share out there, and I'm going to say yes. this to any show you like, just share it to other yes. people, even if you don't know the people and you don't know me. Uh, well, you know me by now. Yeah. I hope so. Maybe. <laughs> if they don't, if they don't, sleep. If you don't know me, you, will, sleep. you, will <laughs> you don't live how you sleep or something. <laughs> if you don't know me, you're going to get to know me. Yeah. We'll be back. Vegas Life with Dino. Yes.